Today we leave the northern town of Akureyri. We're heading to our next stop, which is Sardafell Guest House, I think it's pronounced. It's sort of en route to Reykjavik. It seems every morning I'm waking up and I'm feeling kind of part refreshed, part groggy, because I'm just like, I need more sleep. <laughs> We've done the bulk of the driving now. It should be a bit easier for me here on in, hopefully not so much intense driving. Got myself a bunch of water, I've got energy drinks stocked up, we've got food, we've got more food coming, should be good. Look at the size of that car. It's not even within the bay anyway. I mean, it's within the lines, but it's not, it's sticking out. But look at all that space. How big does he think the car is? We left the northern town of Akureyri, making our way around the final third of the ring road to our next stop on the west of the island. It also marks roughly the halfway point between Akureyri and Reykjavik. The scenery once again delivers on every level, giving us snow-capped mountains and valleys one minute, and miles of greenery the next. What's the I got for you? Chocolate finger! Sit back, sit back in your chair, good girl. And then mommy gonna come and put your straps on. After taking a short food break, we crack on. The weather improved and the landscapes just opened up for hundreds of miles. With our sat-nav stating we were nearby, we struggled to see any buildings in any direction we looked. But then, we spot this tiny building upon this hill. A stunning farmhouse with panoramic views. This is where oh, we'll be staying the night. So we've arrived at our next destination. Um, we seem to be up a mountain. Oh my day, that's bright. Beautifully bright day. And I want to show you the view that we have here. Just take a look at that. Oh my days. You've got mountains all around. We have a clear blue sky, and we all know what that means. No light pollution, blue sky, well, clear sky. Could tonight be the night that we see the Northern Lights? Time will tell. So the hot tub appears to be a future feature of this place. It's still being built. Not sure we're not be finished, but it looks like we're just a bit early for it because that would have been it would have been the, the, the finishing piece of this place. So imagine could you imagine northern lights beaming over the sky while you're sat in the hot tub just enjoying it. The other thing you get here, I'm not sure if it'll come across on video, is the peace the silence you get, the lack of traffic and, and city noise, just nature. I love it. I wish I could stay here forever. It's a proper working farm and it's a proper farmhouse. I think Penny approves of this place, as she really enjoyed exploring the rooms, picking books off the shelf, and climbing the furniture. Oh. Somebody wants to fuss, don't they? Yes, you are. You're a little girl, aren't you? <laughs> There is a cemetery located a few minutes walk from the farmhouse, and it was here that a church once stood for the people of this region. In recent times, a new church was built in a different location, but the churchyard still remains. On the sounds of it, up until 10pm is the final point at which people can book this place. 
Um, but so far, we are the only guests. We've got the entire place to ourselves currently. So fingers crossed it stays that way. Happy to say it did stay that way and we did get to enjoy the exclusivity of this guest house. Hold it. 